Mission Designer at Midway Studios in Newcastle. I'm here to talk to you about Wheelman. Specifically, I'm going to walk you through one of the early missions in Wheelman, which is called Introducing Benito. As far as Milo, the protagonist of the game, is concerned, this is his uh, first foothold in the Romanian gang. We've got three main gangs in Barcelona. The Los Landos, the traditional Spanish kind of mafia gang. The Chilos Canales, the kind of low-level street gang, street punks. And then the Romanians, who uh, came into Barcelona about a year ago and trying to muscle into the underground. I hear uh, he uses Milo Burik for target practice. Uh, you want to give him another shot? <laughs> I don't reveal too much about the game story because it's, you know, it's very much a, a kind of summer blockbuster, Hollywood-esque movie kind of plot. What do you need? There's a troll named Benito. He has something of mine. And you want it back. This mission's set at dusk. It's one of the various times of day that we've got in Wheelman. We don't have a, a dynamic time of day. We, uh, we set it up very much like a movie. So we figured out what would look good when, what kind of action would take place at different times of day, and we, uh, we structured the game's narrative around that to give the best experience, much like you would find in a Hollywood movie. This is the first time you've been given a weapon and given opponents. You get introduced to a number of different elements, how to aim, how to fire, the basics of on-foot combat, uh, how to use the cover system, how to crouch. So the, the soft lock system lets you quickly and easily uh, lock onto any target that you want. I mean, you can quickly flick through available targets that are near the player, anything that's in front of the player. You can quickly hit auto lock and it'll snap the reticule onto that. If you want to go for a headshot and take a guy down quickly, then you can use, uh, you can use the other thumbstick and that allows you to move around uh, a silhouette kind of locked onto the target for more, of a, more advanced projectile combat. So here Milo has to protect Benito on the way back to the main HQ. He's gone down to the restaurant, he's secured Benito, and now he's taken him back, and the rival gang are chasing you. You can see now the, uh, the vehicle melee combat, uh, that is, as far as the mechanic goes, it's not just available to the player. The, the enemy vehicles, uh, the, the enemies that you meet across the course of Wheelman, they're all able to do the same moves that you can do as far as vehicle combat is concerned. So they can all do the side swipe attacks, they can do the rear ram attacks. Uh, they can build up combos against you, they can evade your attacks and they can try and block your attacks. It's, like a, it's very much like a system from a fighting game. If at any point the player decided, I don't want to drive anymore, they, they could jump out of the car, use that car as a cover, and all of the guys chasing are going to pull up within a distance. They're all going to jump out of their cars, and the whole thing turns into a street battle. Aim shot is a super move that, uh, when you activate it, it allows you to fly down into a kind of, uh, almost a first-person view. It flies into the cockpit of the car. You get the whole panoramic view of the windscreen, and it brings up reticules on available targets. And you can take those out in two or three shots. Uh, similar to the aim shot is the cyclone super move, which is my personal favorite super move. And it's like the, like the aim shot, it throws you down in the first person into the cockpit, you get a bunch of available targets, but the whole thing starts with you pulling up a 180. So immediately, anyone chasing you becomes a viable target throw the car into reverse, throw down the first person, time slows down, and every enemy gets a little reticule popped up on its engine. But at the same time, if you don't want to throw bullets into the engine block, you can just take a headshot of the driver, which works really well on bikes, because you see the guy fall back, and eventually his bike crashes and explodes anyway. And uh, Milo's broke. Benito back and Soren wants, to, wants Milo to assassinate Benito but Milo explains that he's not an assassin he's a wheel man okay that's all for this one uh, hopefully you'll be able to come back next time I want to show you a mission where we drive a truck through the middle of Barcelona and you just destroy the place